Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about these nails I did. I absolutely love them. As you can see, I'm trying nail forms. I got these off Amazon and I think they were called, I can't remember the name, but I will leave them in the description box. And I love them. I love them so much better than the little gold nail forms that a lot of people use not saying that nail forms are my method like my go-to method because i'm still so far away from being perfect with using nail forms but it all came out in the end and i am doing coffin shaped nails as you already know from looking at the thumbnail so I put these on. At first to me, these seemed like kind of flimsy. I'm used to the gold ones, which are a little bit thicker, but you just have to learn how to maneuver them, play around with them, and get them the way you want them to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these on. Damn. <laughs> Good thing about editing, right? So all the nail forms are on. And I'm using my Mia Secret Clear. I absolutely love Mia Secret. Thank you, girl. She be having this one down. So I'm gonna do all of that. And by the way, like, like I said, I'm not as good. I'm not that good with using nail forms. So when you take these bad boys off. <laughs> Your nails be looking jacked up. <laughs> I know my nails be looking jacked up. Like when I get done, they don't be all nice and well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, okay, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Then let's 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 fix it. So yeah, it takes me a minute to kind of get it on there and place it where it needs to be, and also make sure I'm not having gaps right around the edges of my natural nail because sometimes you can have some gaps right there and you have to go back in and fill in also with nail forms it's kind of hard you know shaping a nail it's easy doing a tip you just file it cut it put it on okay but you actually have to shape the nail so this is a little bit difficult well more difficult for me anyway if you guys use nail forms, let me know below and let me know which one you like better, whether you prefer nail forms or nail tips are your go-to. Because right now, nail tips are my go-to. Even though I do like the C-curve that a form gives you, girl. Like, baby, that, that C-curve be banging. <laughs> it is so cute. But I've also learned that you can buy the tips already to already have a few curves in the tips so yeah i'm on the hunt for those because that would be awesome i love the see curves that forms give um your nails instead of more flat so yeah it takes me a minute to get it on here but i promise you at the end it always 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 turns out nice
So these are how they turned out once I got done. And I only did one hand on camera because I'm kind of slow. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm kind of slow. So <laughs> me doing both hands was just out of the question. So only doing one hand on camera and I'll do the other hand off camera. But you see how that how they now look? Look how those bear bars look. <laughs> see, look, I was thinking in my head, oh my god. What the? I got a lot of work. But you see this one right here? Oh, you see how it looks really? I just completely forgot that I just literally got done with that nail. And then I started taking the other ones off and forgot that I just got done with that nail. So it wasn't fit all the way. Thank God and just rip it off all the way. And it was able to go back into its shape and set and form. So this is me with them all shaped and cut and buffed and a lot of arm work. <laughs> a lot of sweat. Hard work and tears went to buffing them nails out. <laughs> but it worked out, it worked out. That's a lot of work, honey. Ooh, you just put on the tip and keep moving. But I like the form. I'm not knocking the forms. I like them. Just getting just a little extra work I gotta do. So I'm gonna go ahead and shave these bad boys down. Get them looking really nice, smooth, and straightened. And I'll be back. <laughs> I did not finish like doing this video the same night because I was tired. But as you can see, I, a girl just couldn't do it. I could not do it. I went ahead and did the other hand with tips. <laughs> I went ahead and did it with tips because I just could not. Like, it is. It was so much work trying to get those right with my dominant hand. Trying to do that with my non-dominant hand was just not gonna work. So I have one hand clear, one hand with tips on it. And I also decided to use this green Kiss gel polish that I got from the dollar store. I absolutely love these polishes. Like this Kiss gel polish line is great. Y'all ain't tried this polish. Try this polish. Especially for us girls that still wear regular polish. I know a lot of people are moving to gel, which I feel you because I hate having to wait for these to dry before I can try to put my design on. It really irritates me and takes up a lot of my time, especially when you're trying to film and edit a video. It's taking too long. But the end result is worth it. So. I still love their polishes. They're so cute and they go on so smooth. No problem. They don't dry too quick where you have all those streaks and lines. And yeah, they need to pay me because I'm ripping my gel polish. <laughs> I'm also going to use a big matte top coat. I love this top coat when you first put that top coat on. Girl, you be like, ooh, I'm in heaven. I am in heaven. But you let some oil <laughs> get on your nails. You've been sent down from heaven. It ain't heaven no more. It's not heaven no more. It's still life. But it ain't heaven. Okay. 
but I'm using this nail brush that I got in my Amazon nail kit like a year ago because for some reason I could not find I actually bought like a sculpting brush that I was practicing with a couple weeks ago and I lost it somehow I lost it and could not find it if you guys see me doing this method you probably have never ever in life seen this before I have not either I just came up with it but <laughs> what I didn't want was to try to put I'm using white acrylic by Mel Secret I didn't want to put the white on my nail and it just ran all over the place because my nail doesn't have a top coat on it as of right now because I was undecided whether I wanted to do matte top coat or a shiny top coat. So I was unsure so I didn't want to get that gel pot that polish all messed up with monomer and trying to make these petals. So what you do is you roll it on your finger in a little bitty ball and make it like clay, not clay, I'm talking about clay. You make it out of like, like molded clay where you can mold stuff. And I know they sell that for 3D nail art. I need to get some of that because I think I would like that better than using acrylic. But this is my method, and yes, it comes off my finger. You'll see a lot of white acrylic and residue on my finger. It comes off. And I do have trouble with placing the petals the right direction they're supposed to be. But I'm working on it. I'm practicing, and it's a work in progress. This is my first time actually doing it on my set of nails. I've practiced in the past like on my nail trainer hand but this is the first time I've actually put it on my nail and wore it so your girl was kind of like scared because <laughs> you know once you put it on there you cannot take it off you have to drill it down do it over so in my head I was like oh my god if you do not get this right and have to do this nail over I'm gonna pass out so I was so anxious and it's so crazy because I was so mad at myself you see this bead this bar right here I was supposed to do like three more petals on this flower and for some reason I stuck it right in the middle right in the middle and I was like oh my god right there bam bam do you see it <laughs> I was hurt I was so hurt <laughs> I was like, why did I do that? It wasn't supposed to go right there. <sighs> so, I ended up with four petals. Four petals and this little circle thing in the middle. <laughs> see, I'm trying to show you. That is how it was supposed to be. You see that? And I just, I just completely, mm, I don't know what I was thinking, but I think it turned out okay. Next time, you know, we'll practice and we'll get better at it. But if you like to do this method, make sure that once you put it on your finger and it starts to kind of like go flatten and get all like watery, just go back into your acrylic. Don't add any more monomer. Just drop your brush, dip in acrylic, dip in the little circle dot or whatever to thicken it back up make sure you just roll it with your brush try not to leave it too long but you do have to let it sit for a couple seconds so it can get thickened where you can mold it because if you do it when it's too sticky it's just going to flatten out and then that's going to be the purpose of doing it on your finger so yeah so I could come up with like a couple of mistakes I did with doing these flowers. Like this one, I feel like I had the flower a little too further down than I wanted. But hey, okay, it worked out. It worked out. If you guys have any tips or pointers or anything where you can help me with how to do 3D roses, or if you've ever used the 3D 
molding clay. I think that's what it's called. Um, leave a link in a comment so I can go and check them out and get some of it because I would love to use that instead of acrylic. ran out of storage as usual and I was just tired it was late and I didn't feel like recording and trying to you know back up everything so yeah I went ahead and I did four petals three petals and did two petals and right here in the middle you see what I'm pointing at right here I kind of messed it up because I tried to put like a flower or a leaf thing right there and it just was not it did not look right so I tried to take it off and then that's what I was left with when I tried to take it off. And I tried to put like a little more a polish right there to cover it up. Um, and then once with just the three flowers, it looked kind of bare. So I ended up doing these little circle dot things that I put in the middle of my petals. And I think it turned out really nice. I'm using some diamonds that I got from AliExpress. And if you have not watched that nail haul, I do have that posted a couple of weeks ago. I also have it linked below. And I'm just going to spread these bad boys out. Try to fill in some of the gaps where I feel like it's kind of naked. But the main purpose that made me want to do it was to cover up that spot that I messed up. <laughs> And it did cover it a little bit. I mean, it made it a little less noticeable. So, and I actually think that it came out like really nice. It's a cute little touch with the diamonds. Um, so yeah, I think it came out really nice. And I actually like these diamonds. So if you guys have, you want something cheap and looks nice, try these bad boys out. I think you'll like them.
So this is the nail all done. And I also already started on my other hand. And the brush that I was using to do my pedals with, that brush just, it started out at a point and then it ended up going flat and the bristles and everything was, it was everywhere. So there's no way possible that I was going to be able to do 3D cuddles on this hand with that brush. And that was the only brush that I had. So I decided at first I was gonna do just some stamping on it, but I was like, it's gonna look weird because I have stamping on this hand and then 3D roses on the other hand. So I was looking at the little dots I made on the other hand. I was like, you know what? Why not just make those on my other hand, put some diamonds in them, and bam, we got a design. <laughs> and I wanted to have 3D nail art on both fingers. So that was kind of disappointing me that my brush did not want to let me be great. Okay? That's why his butt got booted in the trash. <laughs> but I absolutely love it. I think it came out cute. At first I was like, mm, I don't know. This is kind of looking a mm, I don't know, but once I start putting the diamonds on it and start filling in the little spaces where I felt was bare with diamonds, I was like, okay, I, I can feel this. It's nice. So the end results, I think, came out nice. Let me know what you guys think. I would really appreciate all of your feedback. If you like it, if you don't like it, tell me you don't like it. You don't have to be rude about it. Don't be mean. I don't have to be a B or any other thing. <laughs> I'm just being me. <laughs> so, I mean, if you don't like it, it's fine. It's fine. I, I can deal with it. But if you do like it, let your girl know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And make sure you thumbs up the video while I'm talking. I've been talking this whole video. <laughs> it was supposed to be like, Little snippets here and there, and I've been talking this whole video. Sorry, y'all, I didn't run my mouth. But if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up the video. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for your support and all the love you guys show. Like, it's really amazing. All the nice and sweet comments people leave. And I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, and also, I know I haven't been posting a lot on my blog channel. Because I haven't. <laughs> but I will be posting more often on there sometime soon. So if you would like to run over to Nicole Nikki B Blogs, subscribe to that channel. So you'll know when I post a blog video. Also hit the notification button in this video, in this page and my other page because a lot of people don't see my videos. When I go to my analytics, I'm seeing that most people that view my videos are people that are not subscribed to me, which is kind of weird because I have like 3,000 some subscribers. So I would love for you guys, if you can see the video, to hit the notification button so you can continue supporting me and watch my journey into hopefully becoming a nail tech one day because I do want to go to school. I want to get my license and I just see myself going forward from here. So I'm happy and I'm excited about that. And I will be vlogging that as well once I do get in school and the whole process, I want you guys to go on that little journey with me because I think it'll be exciting and bam <laughs> I'm so silly these are the end results of my nails I'm sorry I'm ashy y'all I didn't put on any lotion I was tired and I'm just trying to go ahead and get this end video up but I hope you like it this color is it is so pretty I like I am so feeling matte right now like I'm just mad everything. Matt is like so me right now. 
this color is so pretty. I also want to do this same like matte ballerina shaped nails in like a gray that kids have. Oh, y'all see that spot right there? When I was putting on my top coat, I guess because I was filing my nails and doing all that, some of the dust got on my nail and I couldn't get it out. If I got it out, I would have ruined it. So I was just like, you know what? Forget it. Just let it stay. Even though it's going to bother me every time I see it. But it's okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you watch all the way to the end, I appreciate you. I love you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.